In this video, let's do a solved example on the binomial distribution. We are given that there is a portfolio which contains n is equal to 10 defaultable bonds, each with a probability of default of 20%. We are also given that the default of each bond in this portfolio can be assumed to be independent of other bonds. and. The task at hand is to calculate the median number of defaults and the interquartile range. Okay, So, in this question, essentially, we are making two assumptions. Number one, we are assuming that all of these 10 bonds have the same probability of default and that is 20%. Secondly, we are assuming that across bonds, defaults are independent of each other okay so these two assumptions combined lead us to this conclusion that the number of defaults let's say captured by this random variable capital x follows the binomial distribution with the number of trials n equal to the number of bonds and that is 10 and the probability of success equal to 0.2 which is the probability of default so essentially in this setup we think of a default to be a success and each bond is like a trial okay so very quickly recall the formulas for the pmf the probability mass function and the cdf the cumulative distribution function for a binomially distributed x. Specifically, the probability mass function would read something like this. Probability that your x takes on a specified value lowercase x is equal to ncx that times the probability of success raised to the power of number of successes times the probability of failure raised to the power number of failures okay as far as the cdf is concerned for a given input value lowercase x think of cdf to be the probability that your random variable takes on a value which is less than or equal to the specified lowercase x for this discrete random variable this works out to be the sum of the probabilities of x taking on all those values, all those allowed values for x which are less than or equal to the specified value lowercase x. Okay? Now, very quickly, let's recall the definitions of the median and the interquartile range. Median essentially refers to the 0.5 quantile, the quantile associated with a probability of 0.5 and the interquartile range refers to the difference between the 0.75 quantile and the 0.25 quantile. Okay, so to work out the median and the interquartile range, essentially we need to work out these three quantiles. And to work out these three quantiles, we need to work out the CDF of our capital X. Okay, so our capital X, please note, in this particular solved example, is allowed to take values which start from 0, so 0, 1, 2, 3, and go all the way up until 10. Okay, so that's the maximum value of X. As far as our calculations are concerned, let's you know, only focus on values which are 0, 1, 2, 3 and maybe even 4. We don't need to go beyond that. So let's do this. Let's very quickly, you know, fill out this table. This row contains the probability masses associated with these values 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. worked out using the probability mass function. For example, if I were to assume that x is equal to 2, then the probability mass function associated with x is equal to 2 can be worked out to be 10 c 2 0.2 raised to the power 2 
times 0 0.8 raised to the power 10 minus 2 which is 8 so that gives me 0 0.30199 okay so similarly you can you know very quickly verify the remaining three values also then coming on to the cdf again let's try and validate this value this should be interpreted as the probability that x is less than or equal to 2 out of the values which x is allowed to take therefore the values which qualify as far as this condition is concerned are 0 1 and 2 and this probability essentially is the sum of the probability masses associated with 0 1 and 2 so essentially this probability is the sum of this probability plus this probability plus this probability and that gives you 0 0.6778 okay so this is my table of you know the probability masses associated with different realized values and the cdf for my x evaluated for 0 1 2 3 okay now let's come to calculating my quantiles so to calculate these three quantiles I want you to go back and quickly recall the definition of any given quantile. If I were to write down the quantile corresponding to a probability p as q sub p, how do you get to this quantile? Essentially this quantile is that x, that realized value of your random variable such that this condition which I am about to write down is satisfied and the condition is the CDF of X evaluated at this X comes out to be greater than or equal to this probability P. I am looking for that smallest possible X for which this condition is true. Let's apply this definition for the 0.5 quantile. Essentially, to calculate the 0.5 quantile, I am looking for the smallest x at which the CDF either becomes equal to 0.5, that's my probability, or first exceeds 0.5. Look at this table. These are my CDF values. Okay. So, out of the possible allowed values for capital X, there is no allowed value at which the CDF which is given in this row exactly equals 0.5 okay so for x is equal to 1 CDF is this for x is equal to 2 CDF is this at x is equal to 2 it has jumped from this value to this value okay so if I were to apply this definition and ask you what is the smallest value of x at which this condition is true you would say the smallest value is 2 okay because at x is equal to 2 it's the first instance of x at which the cdf either equals or exceeds the stated or given probability which in this case is 0.5 okay so my 0.5 quantile my median is 2 what is the 0.75 quantile it is that x at which the cdf equals or first exceeds 0.75 you can check it happens at x is equal to 3 right because at this point you know at x is equal to 3 the cdf jumps from 0.6778 to 0.87913 so 0.75 quantile is 3 0.25 quantile you know you can confirm is 1 okay so median is 2 interquartile range is 3 minus 1 which is also 2 so b is the right answer okay so this solved example was about binomial distribution and how to actually read the quantiles of a binomial distribution to work out the median and the interquartile range